Nine News reporter Rachel Krause is up in Larimer County for us tonight and Rachel damage assessment teams will go in on the ground tomorrow for a more detailed look at what was lost. Yeah, and Kyle, more than 5,000 people are under a mandatory evacuation waiting for answers about their homes while that fire still burns out here tonight. Now, those under evacuation include a popular dude ranch and the horses that live there. And it's stressful because you never know what's coming your way. It's been a chaotic few days for Josh Shardulo. He leases the land where he raises cattle from Sylvandale Ranch nearby. But this week, the animals grazing off the grass have increased. While I don't know all their names, all of these horses uh, belong to Sylvandale Ranch, which is a dude ranch. These horses needed a safe place to stay when the Alexander Mountain fire sparked up on Monday. We had to evacuate the main ranch because they're under mandatory evacuation orders and uh, they had the horses staged. They had a lot of volunteers with trailers waiting to help out. 50 horses needed to move and fast. Two horses were hurt in the transfer when the trailers broke. Thankfully, after fast vet care and surgery, they're both now healing. But Chardulo worries. Sylvandale Ranch is right in the fire's path. And then unfortunately, they've lost quite a bit of uh, property up in Cedar Park up where they have their uh, uh, historic uh, cow camp. It's an old uh, uh, logging cabin that people will do overnight stays at. So uh, I think they, they might have lost that as well. Now with the Alexander Mountain fire burning nearby at 8,000 acres and crews still working to bring it under control, there's little they can do now. But wait, uh, things can change in a hurry. So we have our cattle here. Um, they're staged and ready to go. We have trucks and trailers, you know, for our cattle, everything set up. And then we have another property over by Devil's Backbone that's ready to go if need be. So we really are just kind of, you know, standing by waiting to see what happens and hoping that the, you know, the fire kind of stays put and they can get a handle on it. Shardulo says this isn't their first time navigating evacuations, but they're never easy. Sylvandale Ranch was right in the path of the Cameron Peak fire back in 2012. They're hopeful that the Alexander Mountains fire path won't turn so crews can get it put out and soon. Reporting live near Loveland, Rachel Krause, 9 News.